Lovely babes, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be showing you how I do this braided bun type of hairstyle that I've seen a lot on um, Pinterest. Um, mind you, I'm not that good at cornrowing. I'm not telling you how to cornrow. I'm more so just showing you how I do it because I'm not good at explaining it because I kind of suck at cornrowing myself, but I want to try out the style. So yeah, if you would like to see me recreate the style in kind of my way, then just keep on watching and I will see you soon. Okay, so taking my hair out of its um, bonnet, I just had it in a messy bun yesterday. I meant to do this yesterday, but it never really happened. Um, I just woke up really by the way which is why i kind of sound very tired because i am but yeah this is an old i honestly don't know how to classify this it was a wash and go then turned into like a stretched out moment because i put it in two pigtails and braided it but now it's just um this as you can see and i would wash it because it is dirty and i need to wash it but tomorrow i'm going to the river with my boyfriend so i don't really want to wash it and then have to end up washing it again because yeah i don't want my hair to get super dry and damaged so i can stretch it for one day i'm just doing this so my hair can at least have some type of curl to it when i take out the braids but i don't want to obviously wear a braid out like that so what i'm gonna start doing is parting my hair and i hope this turns out right because i kind of sucked at cornrowing the last time i did it but i guess we'll see so um i'm just gonna start parting my hair kind of where i would want I guess a braid to be um i'm parting with my fingers first because i don't know it's just so much easier for me to part with my fingers first and then to go through with the rat tail comb and further define that part Okay, so the parting is good enough um, for my standards. So I'm just gonna take this water that's in the spray bottle and, you know, lightly mist my hair for easier detangling. I'm not making it too wet because I just really don't want to because if I make it too wet, then um, it's gonna take the braids forever to dry and I do tomorrow plan on taking them out for like kind of a braid out moment. I'm not really 100% uh, sure. I almost forgot to moisturize my hair. Um, so for moisturizing my hair, I'm just gonna be using this Curl Enhancing Smoothie just cause it's right here, no specific reason. Um, I don't feel like getting up to get anything else so I'm just going to be using that and spraying water to make it spread a little more and then I'm going to start detangling my hair. Okay, after this side's been detangled, I am gonna put some gel on it, not too much, 
but a little because like I said, I wanted to look a little more um, sleek since I am gonna actually be wearing the style out. So about this much for right now. I'm gonna do it to feel like, you know, how I believe my hair should feel, but I am gonna add more around my edges just to make them a little more sleeker. And then I'm gonna take this bristle brush and do that. Now going back in with my detangling brush and brushing the gel kind of through my hair. And I'll add probably a little more gel throughout as I'm braiding just because um, it'll help it look a little sleeker. But for right now, that's all I'm gonna add. And now I'm going to start braiding. I'm not the best at cornrowing and I definitely am not the best person to sit here and explain it, like at all. But basically I'm just gonna take the three strands and you know, start going. I'm guessing under is what I'm doing. I know there's either under or over. Like I said, I'm not the best at explaining whatsoever. I'm not even the best at braiding. And I've tried to do the style multiple times and I always stop kind of halfway through my head because braiding the sides of my hair, absolutely no problem. Braiding the top, however, absolutely difficult. So we'll see how it starts to go. I mean, if you're watching this video, that means it went good. So, yay. Okay, so I have at least all the hair gathered in here and it's not looking horrible. Uh, not, not bad at all, but like I said, this side is typically easier to do for me. It's when I start to get to the top, I start to hate it because I'm like, mm, it doesn't look how I want. But detangling, um, as I get more towards the end, because like I said, do want it to be slick and I am going to add a bit more gel just because I want it to, you know, I want it to look good. So a little more gel and water. I would put cream, but as you can see, it was a squeezy bottle, so I don't really feel like doing that so i'm getting more towards the end so i'm gonna add a little bit more gel for this uh next part that i'm gonna be doing i'm braiding as far down as i literally possibly can and after i feel like my fingers just won't braid anymore with the gel that's kind of still on my fingers since i just put some on i'm just going to keep twirling my fingers around my hair just so the braid will stay and it'll come to a curl like that so initially looking braid doesn't look horrible um as you can see i left a little bit of hair out back here because i don't really like to braid those in because it'll be very uncomfortable and i also left out a little here because like i said once again it'll be uncomfortable but yeah here's one braid down i really hope this style turns out kind of the way um, I'm envisioning in my head. I mean, if it doesn't, then I can easily just, you know, um, throw in a wig. But yeah, so we're gonna keep going and I'm just gonna kind of time lapse it because I already suck at explaining. So yeah.
Okay, so as you can see, I've done this side and now I'm on this last side on, uh, or the last section on this side. Um, and I always get confused on how I want to cornrow the top part of my hair because it's always a little bit different. But I think I'm going to do it the same way. As you can see, curl it to the side when you're getting close to the top of your head. It's going to make it lay a little sideways like that. But at this point, I'm tired and I don't really care all that much um so I think I'm just going to do that because going straight back I mean would be good but that's going to take me a little longer because I don't really know how to uh cornrow my hair that way so I just wanted to let you know like that's what I'll be doing and that's definitely something you want to look at on how you want your braid to go um when it comes to you and you doing your hair I'm doing it to the side but like I said it's gonna look like it's going more off to the side than versus um down the uh middle like how some people's are it's just I'm not that great with cornrowing and especially not with nails on as you can see like I have my nails done and cornrowing with my nails done has always been an issue for me because I just haven't gotten the hang of it just yet but I'm not gonna lie this does kind of hurt my arms because as you can see I'm like twisting them you know a weird way to get it to be you know I want it to be I know I said god I'm all over the place because I'm tired um I know I said it's hard to get it to go straight back but I'm trying as much as I possibly can to get it to go straight back but you know I will definitely be taking breaks between doing this braid here because my arms will start to hurt so bad but I just wanted to say that um as I came back to show y'all this last braid and then I'll come back once this one is done. Okay, so as you can see, I got all of the cornrows done. I'm just going to put this into a bun. I was just going to put the braids into a bun. I'm not going to unbraid it because I plan to unbraid it tomorrow as a braid out. So yeah, this is how it looks. And I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think when I get all dressed up and lay my edges like I'm about to, I'll put mousse on it and wrap it and unwrap it and stuff then I'll like it a little more. But as of right now, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I'm going to, you know, do the rest of this. I'm going to do my edges. Like I said, put mousse on the braids to get some of the flyaways to lay down. And then I'm gonna, you know, get up, get dressed, shower, all that good stuff. Um, and we'll see how I like it then because that'll give me a better like look if I don't like them like I said I still want to do a braid out with this so I'll probably just throw on a head wrap over these and just you know call it a day go outside wearing a head wrap but I hope I do like this because the style was really cute when I saw it on Pinterest Thank you. 
okay so my hair is all wrapped up and edges are wrapped up and everything like that so now i'm gonna go you know get ready and then i'll come back to show you the final final look of how it turned out beauty babe so i completely forgot to film the outro to my video but this is how the look turned out i don't completely hate it i like it a little bit actually but i'm about to take it out and um I'm about to take it out and I'm going to wear it as like a braid out and I'll insert pictures if I remember to take some of how it looks um, if I can but if not this is the end of the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in a second